Namaste Flow Skater, Sean Unwin here. Today we're going to work on our heel press and our toe press, which is essentially rolling on the front two wheels or the back two wheels with our feet nice and close together. Really fun, really satisfying, not too difficult. Let's get started. Always good to start with some static exercises. Newer skaters start on a carpet, a mat, some grass, somewhere where your wheels aren't going to roll. Next, we take it to a harder surface. Set it up with two fist width between your feet, compressing down. So bending our knees, flexing our ankles, feeling our shin bone in the tongue of our skate. We're ready now to push into the ground and extend through our toes or extend through our heels, lifting our toes off the floor. In this exercise, your wheels are gonna roll. And you wanna feel them roll under your body to the position where you feel like you have some balance. Try and hold it there for just a moment and you're ready for the next exercise. So now using a forward lemon to set up a heel roll. I find that the adduction, bringing my legs together as we finish our lemon is a great setup. What we wanna do is when you're doing our lemon drop on the way forward, so we wanna remember that the weight is gonna be in our heels, right? And of course the weight's gonna be in our heels when we do this. So as I bring it in here, I'm gonna lift my toes up. So I'm gonna lemon, I'm squeezing it in, and I start to lift my toes up. And then I'm just gonna try it a few times and see how far I can go. I'm gonna keep a piece of chalk with me so I can mark my progress. Let's, see if Let's take a moment to study here. the foot position. When we're doing our heel press and toe press, we're trying to have our feet together and fairly in line. I do find it easier to start the heel or toe press with my feet slightly apart and then bring them together after a moment once I've had a chance to get the feel and a little bit of balance. With my right foot leading, the inside of the left toe box fits nicely inside the instep of that right foot. <laughs> hey, all right, so that's a great exercise. And that lemon drop is gonna be very useful for setting up those heel rolls. Most likely, you're not gonna be just standing still and then trying to do this move, as training, of course, we do. But more likely, we're gonna be skating around, right? We're in the middle of our flowiness, we're doing our thing. And then wanna set up that heel roll with a little lemon drop. Woo! And I'm off, right? You see how that works. I'm in and I'm off. Whoa. Missed it, but. I keep repeating here, I'm in and I'm off. What I'm trying to articulate is the flow, the feeling from going from the lemon drop into the heel or the toes. It's such a natural movement. And the action of adducting, bringing our legs together, will generate some speed. That combined with the lifting of our heels of our toes, allow us to catch ourselves in those positions and have a nice smooth roll. That's a great feeling. I'm in and I'm off. Now, into that toe roll, going backwards. I'm just trying to find my balancing point. Okay, I'm gonna set up the exact same way. Weight in the toes. Oh, that was a good one. Again, this sort of setup, again, puts me in the proper position. The balance is in the right spot, just from the fundamentals that if I'm going backwards, you know, I'm in the toe, weight is in the toe. So as I do this lemon backwards, oh golly. But here, squeeze it in and onto the toes. I can balance it. The lemon drop entry was the first thing that I tried that actually gave me some results as I tried to learn these toes and heel presses. And in fact, it works like magic. It's the best entry we have, but let's get a little bit more technical. Let's add a little rotation into that entry. Show you the exercise. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to lemon to an almost closed position, not quite closed. Here, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift weight into my toes. I'm gonna lift my heels and add a little rotation to flip me around to a backwards lemon. Something like this.
Wee! I'm barely just trying to get my heels off the floor. It feels almost the same as that static exercise we started off with, just with a slight bit of rotation. Feel the weight shift into my heels like I'm leaning back a touch, popping those toes up with a little rotation. Whee! Now we're gonna use that transition and try and balance it out a little bit, ride that toe and heel press a little bit longer. I think is key to this exercise is you wanna make that transition with a little bit of counter rotation. What I mean by that is I'm gonna get here, I'm gonna start the rotation here, but then my arms are gonna draw that little loop where they go this way and then back this way. And that's gonna stop the rotation, right? If my arms continue this way, I wanna continue rotating and that's what's gonna stop my rotation. Not a new concept if you've watched the 180 videos and so on. So much fun. So obviously the next step is to go from backwards to forwards into our heel press. I had very little success doing this from a standstill, so I'd always start by skating slowly backwards, but still entering with a small lemon drop. I just want to mention quickly that these moves are fun and awesome and can be done in every different pair of skates. You don't need to have the same skates that I have in order to be able to do these moves. My frame is longer, so the balance is a little bit different than what you would experience if your frames are shorter or something like this. But please just do the moves and enjoy them because they are a heck of a lot of fun. And I really feel like over the next few years, you're going to see a lot of really interesting toe presses and heel presses done by lots of amazing skaters. Thank you very much. Talk soon. Namaste.